Hey everyone and welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Today I wanted to do a video on the Shift Town. I've had this installed for over a month and I've driven it quite a bit so it made sense to give you sort of a discussion as to how I feel about it, things to consider when getting one and why you should buy one. <laughs> this is not financial advice, please do not take this as financial advice but buy one of these. So before we get stuck into it, let's jump into the intro. So the main reason for me getting one of these was it was a couple of reasons. A, I've always wanted one and they're less than a thousand pounds so it seemed like a great idea to get one. I've been saving for something fancy inside the car for a little while. And the other reason was I didn't like the height of the original shifter which was is quite low. It's probably five or six inches lower than this one. And I found myself sort of leaning to get it which I don't like. It makes it uncomfortable especially if you're doing track days because you want to kind of be in this nice upright position and you want to be able to grab it you don't have to lean down for it and whatever um and when i found out these were 600 quid or sometimes you can get them on ebay a little bit cheaper if there's a special offer i jumped to the chance especially because it's original fitment which means i still get to keep my center console i still get to keep my little cubby where my button is for my fuel flap the boot etc because obviously on a tt you need that um it's the only way to open your fuel flap i didn't want to relocate it or anything like that um, and fitting, although being a bit long, um, it takes a few hours, obviously you've got to take quite a bit off, is not actually that bad. And the feel of it is lovely. I mean, I'll go for a drive in a bit. I'll show you how it goes through the gears. I really like it. The only time I would say you may not like it is if you do a lot of round town driving and you like a nice smooth gearbox because it's a little bit clunky. It's a bit um, mechanical feeling, which I like because it, you've it's in gear you feel it going to gear it stops it's quite nice um the reason that the thing that makes this better than um a short shift or anything like that a short shift they're all right but they feel a bit notchy and they can feel a bit the gears are quite close and things like that um this actually raises the point of where the shifter moves so you naturally i mean that's where's central there's neutral so between neutral uh, sorry, between this is second and fourth. Between six, sorry, third and fourth. Between third and fourth, that's it. So there is very little movement. So you can see what what the benefits of driving. I mean, you can literally, if you were to keep your arm in the same place, you're only moving your wrist to get the shift change. So it's crazy short. It's in a nice reachable position whilst you're driving. Yes, it makes you feel like a bad boy, a race driver. <laughs> and you get in the car and you just, you're just you just like, oh, yeah, I like this. Uh, but it is in a nice position. All, all cosmetics aside, for me, it's there. So do you know what I mean? You're in, it is where you want it to be if you were going to buy something like this. Yes, you could buy a longer gear knob, but that would make the standard throw further because obviously the higher the further it's going to travel. Um... Obviously, it's not £600, and you could put a short shift on, but they just don't feel the same. I am sitting on my car on probably the hottest day of 2021 without the aircon running, so let's get driving, and I'll show you how how it drives. <laughs> Here we go. Apologies if the aircon is a bit low, loud, because it is, like I said, it's 20-something degrees outside today, which I'm not complaining, and I am going to put on my snazzy shades. Let's go for a bit of a drive. But yeah, actual day-to-day -day driving with it is fine. Reverse, fine. Um, no problems with reverse at all. It's there. Once you've got it set up, you wouldn't even notice the difference um, in gears. You don't struggle to find any particular gear. I've not had any problems I've done for over 500 miles. I drove to Brins the other day for a quick catch-up and a chat. Um, and that was the uh, best part of 100. 30 mile round trip so plenty of driving all in one day motorway no problem I picked the worst place to pull out it just feels so positive there's no it goes from one place to the next it's almost like a H gate like it it's ready to go where it needs to go you don't I always found that when I had the original shifter with a short shift linkage on the gearbox which is a, a 80 six seventy pound 80 pound job nice and cheap one i used to miss third all the time we went to santa pod i had a leon uh, 180 auq engine and i missed third like three out of the four runs which is horrendously embarrassing 
because you give it the old warp whoom, into the next gear. <laughs> Always third, don't know why third just seems to be the hardest one to get but but driving day to day I quite like resting my hand on it, it probably is 10 and, 10 and 2 but it's a, it's a really nice addition to the car. I've Loads of people have seen it and commented on how nice it looks which again is if, as, as long as you don't love OE it is wicked but for, for shifting purposes for the reason of getting it absolutely wicked I can't wait to go on a track day we've got a track day beginning of July uh, we're going to Bedford Autodrome drop me a message if you want to tag along I think it might be sold out because track days have become quite popular recently now we're allowed out and about um, but yeah I mean overall review on the shift tower is it worth 600 pounds yes definitely um, I wouldn't be going back to a standard one now that's for sure I absolutely love this color gear knob I like the eye blue I may get a black one as well just to have that sort of stealthy look because I've got the nice OE interior this is the only blue thing in the car so it does look a little odd but then this isn't exactly standard is it so I can't complain too much there but actual feel if you want to fit something that gives you a better feel you want to be have that short shift because I mean look it's lovely it's just so close and you can literally just one finger operate it's not hard at all and it is really positive it feels nice it's got a real nice purchase to it cyclists on a Sunday I don't know um, and it just it's just easy it makes this car so much nicer to drive um, because I found, like I said, I found that last skin of an absolute nightmare to get to and it almost made me not enjoy driving the car. This one is lovely. It feels nice. It, it goes into the gears nice. Should you get one? Yes, you should. If you've been thinking about one, down in the description, click the link. Go and get yourself one. Hopefully, you'll get a bit of a deal maybe if you're lucky. Um, get yourself one, get it bought because they are wicked. Um, we've got a video on fitting. I'll put that up in the corner so you can see that um, there's also a video we've got uh, on the channel which is for short shifts and all the various options from like your 30 pound right up to your five or six hundred pound option because obviously this isn't for everyone and there is other options out there um, but would I get one of these definitely yes I would um, anyone's welcome to at, we'll be at the shows Audi's in the park um, and a few other options as well i'll be there feel free to come in have a little have a little feel if you want to have a see, see what one feels like prior to buying one yourself hopefully you can't hear it but i've got a little bit of an exhaust blow which i have a horrible feeling is the uh the turbo gasket between the turbo and the manifold so i shall be investigating that shortly i've been trying to put it off for a while but it's getting a little bit noisier and it's making me uncomfortable uh, because i think it's going to get worse but Besides that, absolutely loving the car right now. It's finally come to a point where I can enjoy it. And the list isn't three pages, it's only two and a half now. So that's good. <laughs> There's still plenty of content to come. Don't you worry. This car is a gift that keeps on giving, let me tell you. Um, so where are we now? We're in two june so let's jump across now we've done enough talking about this let's jump into the office and we'll go through this month's giveaway is it that time already okay let's do a prize giveaway now this is the june one we're going to be doing some parrot bros merch first terms and conditions you need to be over the age of 18 and you need to be a uk resident now to enter free prize giveaway down in the comments, just put the letters UK in your message as you're commenting saying, oh, I love the video or no, I hate the shifter, whatever it is. Uh, make sure you put UK in there, no dots, no spaces, just the letters U and K together. Um, you need to be a UK resident. You need to be over the age of 18 to apply. And that is all. So you know what to do. Scroll down and get typing into the description now. We're going to be giving away some Parrot Bros merch. We're going to give away a hat, one size fits all. So cover any barnet. Uh, we're going to give away a t-shirt. Don't worry, I saw the Parrot Bros do it on YouTube. Probably the most popular one. Um, I'm also going to throw in some decals and a keyring for good measure. Maybe a couple keyrings if you've got a couple of TT keys, but most owners only seem to have the one, like me. It's not a good thing. Don't leave it ever inside. Make sure it's always in your pocket. Um, so yeah, 
this competition will run from right now whilst you're seeing this live on the 6th of June at 4.01 p.m. and it will run till the 20th of June at 4.01 p.m. when I will stop and I will select one from the random comment picker and on the video on the 27th of June 2001, uh, 2001, 2021, we will put the winner in there. So good luck and we'll see you then. Bye for now.